Hi guys, good evening. Now let me start up with the assembly module. In that assembly module, totally as per the syllabus is concerned, we have totally seven assemblies are there. In that, let me start up with the first assembly, which is one of the easiest among all. That is a screw jack. So screw jack is a device which is basically which is used to lift the heavier objects. So there are seven parts are there. One, the first part starts with the body. Second starts with the nut. Third goes with the screw spindle, fourth goes with the cup, fifth the washer, sixth countersink screw, and the seventh one is Tommy bar. So these are the three seven parts are there in the screw jack. So while in the fusion, we can go with a different approach. There are two approaches are there. The first approach is top to bottom approach, and second one is a bottom to top approach. So in my approach, let me start with creation of individual parts. And then I will bring all those parts into the uh, module, and then I will then I will start assembly. Then I will start assembly. So what I will do is I will go to individually create all the seven parts. First I will start with the body. Next I will go with the nut, then the screw spindle, cup, uh, washer, screw, and then last with the Tommy bar. After creation of all the parts, then I will go to assemble those. Right. So now. First, let me concentrate on the first part, which is the body. So I can see the body here. So I have cropped the only the part drawing of the body. So I can see the body part here. It is symmetrical with respect to its half axis, right? I can see the hatchet portion here. Right? I can see the hatchet portion here. So if I draw this hatchet portion, if I draw this hatchet portion and if I do the revolving, I will go to get that the body. Right? So in order to draw that hatchet portion, right, let me go on with the dimension. I have already given the dimension here. But how we got that, that we need to know that. So first, if I take this to be an axis, this to be a reference plane, right? Then the distance from here to here is totally it is 70 mm is there. So 70 by 2 will be the 35 mm. So from here to here he has clearly given it to be a 40 mm here. And the distance from here to here he has not given, right? He has given with 70 minus 66, which will be 4 mm. That 4 mm will be distributed 2 mm this side and 2 mm this side. And after drawing this 2 mm here, and we don't know this angle. We don't know this angle, so let me keep it aside and let me come from the bottom of it. Right? From the bottom, I will go into approach the problem. So, from, we know that the height of the body is 185 mm. So, from here, I will draw on line at a distance of 185 mm. And from here to here, the distance, he has given it as 140 by 2, so which will be 70 mm. And from here, I will draw on line of 70 mm. From here to here, it is 20 mm. And from here to here, it is again 20 mm, right? How come mean that? So 140 minus 100 will be the 40 mm. That 40 mm will be distributed 20 mm this side and 20 mm this side. So I got this end point here and I, I have this end point here. Blindly, you join those two points. Thereby, I will go to get this angle. Then he has given that this line is at an offset of 10 mm. Right? I will go to the offset command and I will make this single line as an offset at a distance of 10 mm. Then I need to draw this create groove here. So from here to here it is uh, 50 mm because 100 by 2 will be 50 mm. From here to top it is uh, 3 mm and I will draw an horizontal line and I will extend this inclined line. Where this line intersect this line I will trim off the and similarly, from here to here, it is 25 mm. I will draw a vertical line. Where the vertical line intersects this inclined line, I will trim off that. Right? All the dimensions I have given here. So from here to here, it is 25, 10, 40 mm, 2 mm. I will stop there and I will come at the height of 185 mm. So that the height uh, 185 mm. So, so from here to here, it is 70, right? 20, 20. I got two end points. I will join those two. I'll join those two. Once I get that, I will offset this line and then I will extend this. Right? 
So now what I'll do is the same thing I will do and show you how exactly to do that. And uh, we all know that we'll be starting up with the Fusion 360, right? So uh, not going much in deeper, not going not going much deeper into how exactly uh, installation part that from this, right? Directly, let me move on by having a prerequisite that you all know that, right? So now I will open that uh, Fusion software, right? And uh, I have joined today in a team, right? When I open the data panel and I have a one team I have created that is RIMC BML 305 underscore A section. Right, I am working on that team so that all the students uh, of A section will be contributed to that. Right, and I have created a new project, stated screwjack recording, something like that, because I have uh, different batches. Right, I have my project, different prior projects are there screwjack, online class recording, screwjack, like that. There are different projects are there. So, for recording purpose, I have created a one more project. Right, and all the parts which I am going to create will be saved in this project on the cloud. Right, um, for a time being, let me close this data panel and then first I will go to the sketch. So, once you go to the sketch environment, you need to choose the three planes either you may choose a front plane, side plane, or a top plane based on the position of the part. I need to choose the plane. So, here I will choose the front plane for the body, it will uh, route you to the 2D environment. Right, I will go to, I will choose up a line. So, total height of that line is, the height of the body is 185 mm. Right, so from here to here distance will be 35. So, let me break it up. So, let me draw first of uh, 25. And then let me create a one more 10 mm extra. Sorry. And this bottom thing is 40 mm. And again 2 mm here. Let me zoom it. Right. 2 mm. I will break the line because I don't know that angle. So I will come from the bottom. Again I will go to the line command. So from here to here it is 70 mm. So, 20, again 20, so I got two end point, blindly I can join it in those two, blindly I can join those two, this is the one. The second thing, this line is offset, right? So, I will go to the modify, under modified I have an option called as offset, once when you select the offset command, the offset dialog box will be popped up here. There is an option by default, it has been selected that is a sign selection. That means that if you go and hover the mouse on the drawing, the, your whole drawing will be selected. But I don't want whole drawing to be offset, only a single line to be offset. So I will uncheck this and I will select a line which I need to offset, right? And I will give a offset position distance of 10 mm. Click on. Click on OK. Once it is offset, now I need to draw one line from it 25 mm. Right? Let me draw it this way. So here it is 25 mm line. So from here I will draw one vertical line. Right? Blindly give the angle to be 90 degrees. And then I will go to the trim. I don't want this line. And I don't want this line. And this also I don't need. I can trim off. Then coming out here, it is 50 mm. So let me zoom it a bit. 50 mm. So again it is 3 mm. I draw horizontal line. And then I will go to the extent, extend this line. I go to the trim. I don't need this line, and I don't need this line. Right? 
now there is some fillet is there so i will go to the fillet select these two lines and i let me give it as three mm fillet then here i have eight mm fillet so again i will go to the fillet let me choose this curve this line and i will give the fillet distance as eight mm On to here, we go to the fillet. Yeah. Right. Now, whole thing is done. Right. I have drawn the drawing, and I don't need this line because for revolving axis, I can create a y plane as a revolving axis. So, I will go to select that. Finish. Once the sketch is finished, you can rotate it. And I have one command called as revolve here. Go and select the revolve command. Once the command is selected, if the profile which you have drawn is a closed profile, automatically the profile will be selected. Automatically the profile will be selected. If the profile is not closed, then it will not be selected. It will pop up a error message stating that the profile is not closed. Then I need to select the axis of revolution, right? The line, I can draw one line and I can choose that as an axis of revolution or I have a plane, I have an axis here, right? I can select that axis as a revolving plane. Once if I select that, it will come that whether partial or full, let me go with the angle and direction and new body creation is the operation and I will click on OK and this is the body. After creation of this, I need to assign the material, right? Because this is the cast iron. The body is cast iron. So that can be done. And you can go to the modified. And I have an option called as physical of material. Select that. And you have a library. You go to the metals. Under metals, you can scroll down. And you have an option called as cast iron. Iron cast, you can drag and drop that. Now the material is assigned, and I can create a body, I can create a component from the body, and this component name I will name it to be, and the part number is one, and let me name it to be a body. Give it to be a body. What is now touching? Yes. Can give the first part of this or something. You can give some description. So now I have assigned the material and I have created a component. So now let me save it. So I can go and select and here I can see the location where I am saving and I will name it every day, a body. And on the data panel, you can open the show the data panel and you can see that one body is created. So this completes the creation of body. Consecutively, let me go on with the next part.